Good morning. Today I want to deal with a very difficult subject. You and I are very complex human beings. We have a physical nature, we have a mental life, and we also have a spiritual part to our being. Now just as the body can become infected by sickness or injured in the way we live and what we do, so the mind itself can become injured or become sick as well. And just as the body and the mind can become sick, so we can have a sickness which enters right into the very spiritual part of our being. We understand physical sickness. It is something we live with continually. But then we have our minds and what we have realized in the last century is that the mind can have a strange effect upon the body. We call it a psychosomatic illness. And this is why it is so important that we don't hold bitternesses or unforgiveness in our mind. Because if we do that, we can find it manifesting as physical illness and changing the way we live and crippling us so that we can no longer live our lives fully as we want to live them. But there can also be a spiritual side to this nature, an area in our lives that most of us are almost unaware of. You see, Jesus says to us very simply that when we accept him as Saviour and Lord, the Holy Spirit entering into us will prepare a place where the Father, the Son, and the Spirit can live, we can truly be filled with the fullness of God. This is a strange area in our lives. But this area which exists can also become contaminated. It can become contaminated because we have allowed certain things to happen. We have invited spiritual entities, not God, but spiritual entities, you enter into this area. Many people find this very strange. Sometimes you can see manifestations with the way people live and what they do. And the doctors will tell you, this is something like schizophrenia. In other words, the mind is affecting the body. People are hearing voices, they're seeing signs. Everything is going wrong in their bodies. It's coming from their mind. And with the use of drugs, this schizophrenia can be controlled. But very often, because we're living in a Western society, we have forgotten that there is the spiritual realm as well. And the spiritual realm, if that is contaminated, can in fact affect our minds and can infect our bodies. I once spoke to a psychiatrist and asked his opinion about certain saints. And they said to them, as far as the Christian church is concerned, these people are saying they're getting visions and they're getting words spoken to them and they're expressing them and sharing them with the people around them. Do you think this is coming from the spirit or do you think it's coming from the minds? And the psychiatrist who was a Christian just smiled back at me and said, if I had to examine many of these saints and the visions they're getting, I, he said, would be very tempted to say that this is a mental manifestation that is somehow being expressed through their bodies. But as a Christian, I have to admit there are sometimes things present which I cannot explain. There is another part to the person's being which I cannot really comprehend. See, if we deliberately dabble with things which God tells us not to dabble with, if we get involved with things like Ouija boards and fortune telling and mantras from Eastern religions, what we are doing very often is that we are inviting spiritual entities of which we have very little understanding to enter into our spirits. And when they reside there, they then can infect our minds and the minds can infect the bodies. In the gospel this morning, we have Jesus dealing with one of these people, a demoniac. 
It's recorded for us in Matthew's Gospel and in Luke's Gospel. In Luke's Gospel, the person speaks to him and Jesus says, what's your name? And he says, our name is Legion because there's thousands of us present. This man has invited in thousands and that's why he cannot be helped. Jesus, with his authority, throws them out. He says, leave the man alone. And he is restored to mental health and to physical health. Now, I just share that with you because as we read about it, we must understand that these things are real. All I can say to you is leave them alone and don't dabble with things you don't understand. Because if you do, then you are in danger of receiving this type of infection. May God bless you and give you peace and know that it can be dealt with. Amen.